boys and girls of Stormworks! What's up guys, Attaboy here. Today we're going to be checking out advanced basic engine building. Basically, I'm going to build an advanced engine in a basic way so you can understand it and incorporate it into your own projects. I'm going to leave this on the Steam Workshop so you guys can grab it from there and take a look at it, twist it around, make it into your own thing if you like. Alright guys, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and let's head to the table! Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to start with our platform. So let's get a white platform. I'm going to turn on my symmetry. I'm going to go to X symmetry here. Hold down shift. I got a nice plane there. There we go. Same thing on this side. I'm just making a platform. It doesn't really make it matter how big if you're following along. Next, I want to get an engine. There we go. Nice small engine. Drop that right down right here. We can turn the symmetry off. I'm going to bring out the coolant pipes first. We'll make them blue. Get a little symmetry on for that, but oh well. Okay, next let's get a radiator. There's a radiator. Heat sink kind of does the same thing. Okay, we're going to drop the radiator right there. I'm going to hit J to rotate. There we go. Okay, next we have uh, our exhaust, so I'll color that black. Actually, let me take that back. I'll use an elbow first. And okay, didn't do it. We'll use J again. And then I'll extend that straight up with the straight pipe straight. Oops. Didn't select for me. Why? Hello. There we go. Alright, we got that plenty high. That way the exhaust doesn't mix in with the air mixture, which I don't know if that is even a thing. I don't think you can pollute your oxygen. Okay, there we go. Cap that off on the port or a fluid port. Or actually, let's make something better. Let's do a fluid exhaust port. Put that right where the radiator was. Get rid of that. That on top. There we go. Okay. Next, let's go to our air. I'll turn the air green. I'll put an elbow, and then we can put a fluid port right on top of that. All right. Next, we're going to make our fuel. So I'm going to elbow this off. I'm going to twist it. Uh, keep hitting the wrong keys. There we go. Okay. And I want to drop the tank first. Now, I'm only going to use a medium tank. i use something smaller than that, but it will. Selecting for me. Okay, there we go. You don't have to tip it on the side, but I'm going to tip it on the side because it connects right up. Anything over 10 blocks away, I think you have to use a fuel pump for. Alright, so we're going to select our air. We just want to make sure that this is selected as diesel. It is. You can change it to whatever else you want. You can go to jet fuel, empty diesel and water. So we're going to keep it on diesel because that's what the motor runs on. Oops. So now, the only thing we have left to connect is we have our coolant, we have our exhaust, we have our air, and we have our fuel, and we need to connect a power out port. So we can just connect one of these. I'm going to make this orange. Connect that right to that, and we can connect a large generator won't turn, so we'll put a small generator on it. I think we can start the motor with a small generator. I don't think we need a clutch for it. Get rid of that piece right there. Alright, and the only thing I left need left is a switch and a battery. We have a toggle, we have a push button. That's good for me. Oops, I need to put a throttle on this too. So we're going to put the battery right there. We're going to put our switch right here. go use L to spin that around. I want to get a throttle so that we can accelerate our motor more. I keep hitting the wrong dang keys. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, and that should be pretty good for that. Now we're going to hook it up. We're going to go into the logic part, which is a little light bulb up here. And we are going to connect our push button to the engine to start it up. 
And we're going to connect our throttle to the throttle part of the engine. And our battery, we're going to go down to the electrical part over here. And we're just going to connect our battery into everything. You can hold down control, left control, and touch everything. And connect it all at once. And I think that is everything. So, this generator should keep this battery charged when this motor is running. And this is basically a... Uh, A basic advanced motor. Let's we'll see if it runs. We'll bring our throttle up to about 20. 18 is good enough. Push that button. It's running! Oops, I'm scooting it around. Alright, let's see if we can blow it up. I don't think it's going to blow up. Um, did a good job on the coolant. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and uh, enjoy. I hope this helps you guys out in your future projects. All right. Bye-bye.